Hello folks, this is Shardul Gavande from Ace Knowledge. So in this video, we are going to see practical number 6 which is interface stepper motor with 8051 and move the motor through a given angle as in clockwise or simply counterclockwise direction. So let us first understand what exactly is a stepper motor. So a stepper motor is an electromechanical device in which electric currents are passed and the motor rotates or the disc simply rotates. So let us see with the help of an image over here so this is a motor case the outer part as shown in the near arrow over here in the figure then we have the permanent magnet rotor which is nothing but this black part with north and south as direction and uh, this are also the magnets a a dash b b dash and they are been coated with an electrical wire which we simply call as coil so this the current would be passed through this coil and accordingly the motor would be uh, rotated based on the north south direction so let us understand more in detail how to rotate it so suppose this is our rotator or magnet and i have divided into into axis a b c and d so now we have to rotate clockwise and anti clockwise so let's take the first uh, example as to rotate it clockwise direction so clockwise if i started from a it would be through this way yes so this is my clockwise direction from point a so i want to rotate first my uh, magnet or rotator in clockwise direction so in order to commit from a to d d to c c to b and b to a so we'll work with the quadrants as what we have seen in maths so a to d this is the first one first quadrant so I need to pass the current from A and from D, okay, as in the figure over here A and B. So current will be passed to this magnet from this coil A and through this magnet for B, okay, in order to move it to this direction in clockwise to the right of our side. So if you see A, current should be passed through A and through D, which means the value of A would be 1 and the value of D would be also 1 and the rest of the value b and c would be zero okay next now now i want to move it from d to c okay so current should be passed through d and through c so c and d values would be one and a and b values would be zero okay now next again it should rotate in this manner as shown in the as as the arrows are shown so C and B, so next value current should be passed through C and through B. So B and C value would be 1 and A and D would be 0. Okay. And last from B and A, so current should be passed through B and A. So value of A and B would be 1 and C and D would be 0. Okay. Similarly, for anti-clockwise, it would be from A to B b to c c to d and d to a back again so the values would be the direction is from left to right so value from a to b a and b values would be would be 1 1 and c and d would be 0 next b and c would be 1 1 and a and d would be simply 0 moving on further c and d would be 1 1 and a and b would be 0 0 then d and a would be 1 1 and b and c would be 0 0 so we have got the values in this other binary form we have to put this value in hexadecimal format so we'll do first for clockwise let us open kill vision 4 and let's create a project over here new project We'll give the name as stepper motor save it select microcontroller atmel 889c51 and simply create a new file now and over here we'll type our code so let us include the necessary header file hash include reg51.h then we'll create a delay function over here for the time interval 
and we will require two variables in the i and j and then we have for loop for i equal to 0 then i less than equal to 100 and i plus plus and inside i this outer loop we will have our inner loop as j for j equal to 0 then j less than 100 and j plus plus okay so this was delay now let's create our main function void main over here and uh, let's open it and under main function we will have our loop which is simply while loop and under while loop we will define our port p2 since we would be working with p2 so p2 equal to we are rotating it in clockwise direction first so 1001 1. the representation of 1001 1 would be over here we'll write p2 is equal to 0 x 0 9 okay so we have here the first value was 1001 so the representation of 1001 if you check it over here 1001 so decimal value of 10 uh, sorry 1001 this one so its decimal value is 9 and hexadecimal value is 0x09 so we have written here 0x09 then we'll put a time delay over here and then again p2 equal to the next value we were having is 0011 so check for 0011 decimal is 3 hexadecimal 0x03 so simply put this value 0x03 then again delay would be called then again p2 is equal to the next value is 0 one one zero so zero one one zero has a representation six and in the hexadecimal it is zero x zero six so simply put zero x zero six semicolon and then again we'll have delay function over here and then p2 equal to the last value which is one one zero zero so one one zero zero representation is decimal in decimal is 12 in hexadecimal it is 0x 0c so simply put that value 0x 0c okay semicolon and then again we have delay over here okay so we have done it for clockwise let us save this i'll give the name as stepper and save let us add it to the existing file group step uh, add type as c source file close okay now right click on target and uh, make some necessary configurations first change the frequency to 11.0592 and in the output select over here create x file okay and right click on our target and simply build target so it says zero errors and zero warning and the hex file got created now let us go to produce over here i have already created a project and uh, we need first our microcontroller so 80c51 selected this one drag and drop it over here then we need a new component as let's type it as motor motor stepper stepper motor this select this one and select ok drag and drop it over here now let's make the necessary connection so our port was p2 so take line from p2 0 and add it over here to this line then from p2 1 select it and it will go over here then from p2 2 p2.2 take it and bring it over here to this part and from p2.3 we'll join it over here okay now so we need to take one more component as terminal and ground drop it over here 
select from this second point and place it over here from this right side take it and place it over here okay so now let's add edit properties and we'll change the frequency to 11.0592 and the program file let us add it from keel folder it was stepper motor dot hex open okay fine so now let us run it from here and you can see it is rotating in clockwise direction from right to left yes so it rotates in clockwise now they have also told to check for anti-clockwise direction so we have already data over here for anti-clockwise let us put this values in hexadecimal and uh, let us first stop this we'll go to keel and we'll simply change this values so for the hexadecimal it would be simply the reverse of this okay so we can put it over here as p2 equal to 0x 0c go on adding the change the p2 values so we have p2 equal to 0x 06 then we have p2 equal to 0x 03 and the last we have p2 equal to 0x 09 simply reverse of this since we are going to perform is anti clockwise and you can check it you will get the same representation in hexadecimal okay so let us remove the old values from here and we will save this control s target right click build target okay successfully created hex file go over here right click edit properties simply we will add it again okay and now we will run it so you see it moves in anti-clockwise direction from left to right earlier it was from right to left okay so this is how stepper motor practical has been performed by rotation in clockwise as well as anti-clockwise direction so that's it from this video thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe